I'm Keith Morey, and we're going to talk about the liver gallbladder flush. Now, why would you want to clean out your gallbladder? And what does a gallbladder do? Well, gallbladder stores bile. What the heck is bile? Bile is a breakdown of red blood cells in the spleen. That's what the spleen does. It crushes red blood cells. It extracts the minerals and other nutrients out of it, which goes into the mix of use cholesterol, waste material, and minerals, which we call bile acid. This bile acid is stored, is produced in the liver, but stored in the gallbladder to be released when we have fatty food that comes into our digestive tract. So the fatty food comes in, gallbladder releases its bile, it emulsifies the fat, allowing enzymes to break down the oil, the oil breaks down into cholesterol again. So it's a recycling plant for cholesterol. It releases its minerals to be recycled back into the system so you can stay alkaline. We don't get enough minerals to function properly. So we have to recycle those minerals in bile. So it digests, it makes cholesterol, and then cholesterol um, is in our skin. When the sun hits it, it produces a chemical that goes to our kidneys to produce vitamin D. And vitamin D is a hormone. It's not a vitamin per se, it's a hormone. So vitamin D is crucial to keeping cancer away. That's been proven. So it produces cholesterol, which produces vitamin D, but cholesterol also in the digestive tract produces what they call pregnenolone, which is the master hormone to all hormones. For let's step back and say, what is a hormone? Hormones are regulated, they regulate things. Heart function, liver function, kidney function, moodiness, sex drive. Everything that we do is what is based on hormones. Our personality is based on hormones. So when you take pregnenolone and you feed it to the adrenals, it makes estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, and a hundred different other kind of hormones to balance our system, to regulate our system, to make us happy, to make us viable in our society. Without those hormones, we become reclusive. We, we don't interact as much. We um, aren't happy. So you need your hormones. You need to have your gallbladder functioning, functioning properly. And if it's clogged up, it's gonna back up that bile like a, a toilet backing up uh, in the sewer. Um, it's going to cause an overflow, um, but backing up into the liver. Now the liver is a, the number one um, detoxifier of our body. It takes the blood and, and purifies it before it goes to the kidneys and eliminates any excess. It produces all the enzymes and, and everything else in our body, all the chemicals. And if you back up this bile, which is waste material, and it's a bile acid into the liver, then you're gonna have the liver that's gonna malfunction. It's going to try to reassimilate this waste, oily uh, sludge into its system to try to get it out in another way. And the problem is anytime you have a filtration system, and you put a lot of waste material through it, you're gonna have residue left over. And this residue clogs up the liver ducts. And these liver ducts are what filter and, and um, are passed through all this waste material. And if they're clogged up, then your liver is gonna be called what they call a fatty liver, and it's not gonna function properly. So you gotta keep that bile duct open allowing it to release its waste material to digest fats, to make hormones, to be functioning properly. And you have to have your liver properly functioning. Otherwise, it's going to start to throw too much to the, the kidneys. In other words, you don't purify it enough. And the kidneys start to have malfunction and they start to throw it to the skin. So you now you have eczema, psoriasis, and all these other things that occur because your whole system is not functioning properly.